again you guys and welcome back to another shipping and sales vlog so in these vlogs i like to show you exactly what has sold in my stores over the last few days and basically i pull them from my inventory and tell you a little bit about each item while i grab them and get ready to ship them in my office upstairs this shipping vlog is very proudly sponsored by vendu if you've missed my past vendu videos i will go ahead and pop a link right here to my own like review video that i did but essentially vendu is a cross listing software if you're like me and you like to get as many eyes as possible on your items that you are selling online i personally sell on ebay etsy poshmark and macari now vendu may be something that you want to look into as well essentially it allows you to have a central hub for your listings and then you can cross list those with the click of just a few buttons to all those different marketplaces rather than doing everything manually dragging your photos from your desktop trying to figure out what on earth the shipping weight was for calculated shipping and inputting that into lots of different marketplaces etc etc for me it has streamlined everything so much and it is starting to really reflect in all of my sales i'm starting to sell way more things on etsy and Macari, which is super exciting because those had laid dormant for me for quite a while. I'm notorious for not really committing to cross-listing <laughs> when I do it manually just because it's quite a lot of work, quite frankly, and I would rather get fresh listings up. But with Vendu, I've been able to streamline that process so much on a daily basis, and I am so glad that I found it. So if you're interested, like I said, I'll pop that video up here and down below as well so you can check out exactly what it is. And if you're interested in taking a look and possibly trying it out for yourself, there is an affiliate link down below that will give you 25% off your first month. All right, let's crack on and see what's sold. All right, so the first item that I am pulling to ship out today is a pair of vintage eyeglasses. These actually sold the same day that I listed, which was kind of cool. And the brand was Chiron, I think it is. They're obviously vintage. I think they are a kid size, potentially. I put all the measurements in and let the buyer know that I thought that they could be a youth or kid size. And yeah, I just picked them up because I thought they were really cool, a neat style. I paid a dollar at a yard sale and they sold for 20 plus shipping. Okay, so the next item is up here in X. Oh, it's right here on top because it only just got listed X19. This is a pair of brand new with tags. Lucky brand Sophia Bucat jeans. I picked a whole bunch of these up at a yard sale for $3 a piece, all new with tags. And this one sold for $37.99 plus shipping on eBay. Okay, so the next item is actually sticking out right here. And um, this is a Disney store Zootopia Officer Judy Hops, uh, like a figural backpack. And this sold on Macari for $18. And this is another one that I have to put down to cross posting using Vendu. I had it listed on eBay and Poshmark, and then I decided using the Vendu um, software to go ahead and put it on Macari as well, just to see how it would do. And that is where it ended up selling um, on a best offer, as I said, for $18. And I'm so glad that I did it. And of course, I could go straight onto Vendu and deactivate it from all of the other platforms in one fell swoop uh, which is much easier than having to go into each one individually so it uh, definitely made my job a lot easier there all right next one is a very quick sale um which i think means that i may be listed it too low <laughs> never mind um, so it is this, uh, very unassuming. It's the Big Bad Wolf from Shrek the Third, very specific. It's a 10 inch plush. This came in the lot that I like bought out from the lady at the yard sale. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it. Basically, I had found this amazing yard sale and I bought all kinds of stuff from it, like very kind of like rare items. And then I decided to reach back out to her via Christmas card and ask if she wanted to sell her leftovers. And she did. So I bought it all for 300. And this is one of those items that has sold. Like I said, sold in less than a day had a couple of watches straight away and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping there really wasn't anything in terms of comps to go off of for this there was one larger one like a 10 inch plush that was listed for like $12 on eBay that was still sitting um but otherwise I just couldn't find comps for this guy so I put it at $14.99 and I think I probably could have asked for more but oh well never mind quick sale out the door my right, next item I can see right here already, it is I-5, which is a burnt orange Columbia like crop sweater. This sold on Poshmark for $18 plus the shipping. All right, and another great example of something that's sold uh, due to me cross-listing with the Vendu software is these vintage bed sheets hiding under here. Oh my goodness, I'm barely tall enough. Ah, okay. <laughs> we're good um okay so they are a set of it's like a flat sheet and i think a fitted sheet as well with an all over print um walt disney obviously winnie the pooh they are vintage i paid 50 cents for the whole set um and these sold for 
$25 plus shipping on Poshmark. This is something that I went straight on after I listed it on eBay and I cross posted it to all four of my platforms. So eBay, Poshmark, Etsy and Macari. And it just so happened that they sold on Poshmark first. But I'm really glad that I cross posted them because this is definitely a more unique kind of item where it could really have sold on any of those platforms. And so I want as many people to check it out as possible. And obviously using more marketplaces allowed me to do that. All right, next item is very bread and butter, just Lane Bryant, sold for $16 and it's kind of like a psychedelic floral style button up blouse. Um, yeah, $16 on Poshmark. And this is one of those items as well. I'm in Poshmark right now, basically sending out the super low offers to people anybody who ever liked anything i'm trying to go through methodically and send out some low offers and move out a bunch of old inventory and this is one of those items okay next is a pair of merrill or morel just like mules or clogs or whatever you want to call them and they sold for 15 plus shipping on poshmark Oh, there was one more plush that I forgot while I was over here. Um, this was actually from the original buyout, although I have to say I didn't pick it out. They gave it to me for free. Um, they sort of asked me if I'd picked it and I said, I don't think so. And they were like, well, you're having it and sent it with me. And I'm incredibly glad that they did because it was a pretty good seller. Um, so Banjo and Kazooie for anyone sort of old school Nintendo N64 people, you'll know who this is. He did not come with the Kazooie, unfortunately, just the banjo. Um, and he is a B, D and A, that is his tag right there. And if you have the two of them together, you can easily get like 125 for the set, which is insane. I love selling plush, FYI. Um, but this little guy by himself, I started him at 74.99 and within half a day, I got a best offer of 55 and I decided to go ahead and take him since he was just one half of the set. I'm telling you, if you have not done your research on plush, it might be something that you would look into like for the next year. I'm going to do a video shortly, I think, just showing some of the best plush that I have sold here in the last few months um, and maybe doing some research on a few other pieces that I'll be keeping my eyes open for. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will share that information with you guys. Um, but yes, overall, it's a very lucrative category <laughs> if you know what you're looking for. And I definitely suggest doing some research. Okay, next, this is an Etsy sale. This has been listed for forever. Um, it is a little vintage key holder. It's got this girl with the puppy dog. If I can open it, I will show you what is inside. There we go. And it obviously sits on the wall and holds your keys. And this sold for $14.95 on Etsy. And it's probably been listed at this point for a good two to three years. Um, so it probably was going to be at risk of being purged soon. I'm glad that it's sold and it'll be on its way. All right, this item is a little bit of a fail, a cautionary tale, if you like. Um, so this is a J. Crew collection merino wool zebra sheath dress, like a sweater dress. This should have, by all accounts, done really, really well. But there was a hole. And I decided to list it anyway because it was, you know, a good brand. The J. Crew collection is their higher end pieces. It can often go for 50 plus, um, depending on the piece. But it sat for years. It finally sold for $14 on eBay plus shipping. In reality, I should have just pulled this item and donated it a long time ago um so that's kind of gonna be on my radar i think for the upcoming year making sure that i trim some of the fat out of my inventory and just stick with the stuff that i have now learned actually sells Okay, the next item is a, another Vendu win, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so these are just a set. I don't know the brand. They are vintage. This is the label on the back. Found them at a little thrift store for like $1.99 a piece, maybe like $4 or so in them. Um, they're velvet, and they're all sort of hand embroidered. They're such a nice colorway. I had to grab them just as a set. Um, and so I had them on eBay and Poshmark, because they're the first places that I basically list. I do it on eBay, and then straight away I copy and paste onto Poshmark. And then I go on to Vendu afterwards and I with a click of a few buttons go ahead and cross post these to Macari and Etsy as well and I'm so glad I did because they sold on Etsy and they sold for $39.95 which I think is most likely where I would have gotten the best price for them Etsy because this is very much like an Etsy style item in my experience of selling there since 2016. So anyway once again one of the many reasons that I recommend getting your items out on as many marketplaces as possible and obviously with something like Vendu that is very simple and easy to do on a daily basis. Okay I see the next next one peeking here <laughs> um just a vintage tennessee volunteers hat this actually had quite a lot of attention um on both ebay and poshmark at least and um, but it finally sold on poshmark for best offer of 22 dollars, and that'll go in a little box to make sure that it sort of retains its structure all right next we have a bag that is in here <laughs> 
as always, somewhere. All right, just kidding. It was actually in this pile of bags. So <laughs> as you can see, one of my New Year goals needs to be reorganizing my inventory. Um, so this piece is a Hobo International bag. Um, I picked this up for $5 at a yard sale. Um, even though it had a few little marks, as you can see down there in the corner, I decided to take a chance on it because it's a really good brand. Um, yes, paid $5 at a yard sale and it sold on Poshmark for $30 on a best offer plus the shipping. All right, and the very last item is this Land's End Black Puffer Vest. Um, not a huge seller, I have to say. I used to pick these up all the time, but they don't do quite as well now as they used to. I would have paid less than a dollar for it though, and it sold for $16 on Poshmark plus the shipping. All right, you guys, that is all of the items picked up for today. So obviously now I need to take them on up to my office, package them, ship them, and get them out the door.